the New Testament in a Year, with Psalms and Proverbs. Day 18, Mark 10, verse 1 to 31. Jesus teaches about divorce. Then Jesus left that place, went to the province of Judea, and crossed the river Jordan. Crowds came flocking to him again, and he taught them as he always did. Some Pharisees came to him and tried to trap him. Tell us, they asked, does our law allow a man to divorce his wife? Jesus answered with a question. What law did Moses give you? Their answer was, Moses gave permission for a man to write a divorce notice and send his wife away. Jesus said to them, Moses wrote this law for you because you are so hard to teach. But in the beginning, At the time of creation, God made them male and female, as the scripture says. And for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, and the two will become one. So they are no longer two, but one. No human being must separate, then, what God has joined together. When they went back into the house, the disciples asked Jesus about this matter. He said to them, A man who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against his wife. In the same way, a woman who divorces her husband and marries another man commits adultery. Jesus blesses little children. Some people brought children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples scolded the people. When Jesus noticed this, he was angry and said to his disciples, Let the children come to me, and do not stop them because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I assure you that whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on each of them, and blessed them. The rich man. As Jesus was starting on his way again, a man ran up to him, knelt before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him, No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not accuse anyone falsely. Do not cheat. Respect your father and your mother. Teacher, the man said, Ever since I was young, I have obeyed all these commandments. Jesus looked straight at him with love and said, You need only one thing. Go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. When the man heard this, gloom spread over his face, and he went away sad because he was very rich. Jesus looked around at his disciples and said to them, How hard it will be for rich people to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were shocked at these words. But Jesus went on to say, My children, How hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is much harder for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. At this, the disciples were completely amazed and asked one another, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked straight at them and answered, This is impossible for human beings, but not for God. Everything is possible for God. Then Peter spoke up, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Yes, Jesus said to them, and I tell you that those who leave home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me for the gospel will receive much more in this present age. They will receive a hundred times more houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, and persecutions as well. And in the age to come, they will receive eternal life. But many who are now first will be last, and many who are now last will be first. Proverbs 18. People who do not get along with others are interested only in themselves. They will disagree with what everyone else knows is right. A fool does not care whether he understands a thing or not. All he wants to do is show how smart he is. Sin and shame go together. Lose your honor, and you will get scorn in its place. A person's words can be a source of wisdom, deep as the ocean, fresh as a flowing stream. It is not right to favor the guilty and keep the innocent from receiving justice. 
When some fool starts an argument, he is asking for a beating. When a fool speaks, he is ruining himself. He gets caught in the trap of his own words. Gossip is so tasty. How we love to swallow it. A lazy person is as bad as someone who is destructive. The Lord is like a strong tower where the righteous can go and be safe. Rich people, however, imagine that their wealth protects them like a high, strong wall around a city. No one is respected unless he is humble. Arrogant people are on their way to ruin. Listen before you answer. If you don't, you are being stupid and insulting. Your will to live can sustain you when you are sick. But if you lose it, your last hope is gone. Intelligent people are always eager and ready to learn. Do you want to meet an important person? Take a gift and it will be easy. The first person to speak in court always seems right until his opponent begins to question it. If two powerful people are opposing each other in court, casting lots can settle the issue. Help your relatives and they will protect you like a strong city wall. But if you quarrel with them, they will close their doors to you. You will have to live with the consequences of everything you say. What you say can preserve your life or destroy it. So, you must accept the consequences of your words. Find a wife and you find a good thing. It shows that the Lord is good to you. When the poor speak, they have to be polite. But when the rich answer, they are rude. Some friendships do not last. But some friends are more loyal than brothers. Amen.